Good morning, you lovely lot. I hope you're all well. You all had a lovely weekend, the usual, and you're all good. So, I hope you enjoyed the last video. Um, it's obviously a little something I did, I normally did, sort of day in their life, and this time I've done a week. Uh, just gives me time to sort of film, do bits, do my job, and ed edit it at the end of the week. Um, obviously, it takes a bit of time, so, but I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's going to be another one this week. Um, we'll see what we've got on this week. Uh, currently now we've got to do an inspection, an MOT on a trailer. So we might have a film around the trailer and have a look at that. But yeah, uh, like I say, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Welcome to any new subscribers that have subscribed, I really appreciate it. Thank you all for your comments and your likes and everything like that, I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get cracking on with this week's video. Well, I haven't been in one of these for a while. Just trying to find where the tyre there is. Let me turn it round and I'll show you. When I told the other day about the date on the tyre, let me just show you that. So there's the date, obviously upside down. So week six, year 22. Quite easy to find, it's either on the outside or the inside of the tyre. So yeah, it's just something you can see there. Um, just for people that weren't sure. You know where it is now. So we get tapping around this. Remember, when people go, it's just a, it's a trailer. It, all it is is a box on wheels with bits and parts and electric stuff. So, ain't too bad. It's quite a sort of brand new trailer anyway, so it's not bad. It's from OT. So yeah, it's uh, must be laying outside on the floor. It doesn't bother me stuff like this. When it's raining, it's a little bit different in it, but it's part of the job. You, you, you get the rough just move so I'm gonna get tapping and see what else we can find. So it is the next day. Um I've got an MOT but this one is an absolute king bag of shit. Bag of shit. Literally. It's a nail. It's been battered. It's a powerful delivery one and it's been battered so yeah we'll go through some of the defects what we've got um try and film as much as we can and yeah we'll see how we get on with it but yeah it's an absolute bag of poo for sure so we have got a defect we need to get sorted so i can set the bearings one so we'll basically crack them on it. First thing I'm gonna do is drop it at the gearbox end, drop it out of the way. We'll do these 19s, we'll crack them first actually. Yeah, start whizzing it off so back on. So first thing we're gonna do is whip one, two, three, four bolts out. And about 15 on these. Whip them out. Get this prop out of the way and then we'll go from there. So I've left one bolt in here because when I've split it, uh, I don't want that prop falling on my head because it will hurt a lot. So we've cut the middle bit out. Uh, what we're going to do now is um, I'm just going to drop the prop down here, probably move it over to the side if it will go. Hopefully. So yeah, let's uh, undo the middle bit. We can leave hold it up with the jack, so don't just drop down, and then we can let it down slowly. So yeah, let's get that done. So here's our prop off. Uh, now we need to split it. Split this with that. Yeah. Right, so I marked the prop there. Uh, now we can split it. So we know when we go back where we should be. So let's get it split. Let's get this old centre bearing off. So it looks like this one's got a circle. It's different to the ones I've done before. Uh, so we need to get that off really. Um, 
yeah, hopefully it will come out all right. Um, so let's get this circle clip off and then we hopefully should be able to knock this center bearing out. Now I need to lift the prop up, put the centre bearing on a little bit, and then we'll just use that to help us lift it up. Why well, struggle? There's no problem. So yeah, I'm gonna get it on the jack, and I'll come back to you when it's on. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. Am I So yeah, used the equipment around her. Where is it? I'll put that spot. Where is that? Use the equipment around her to 
to make your life easier. You don't need to struggle. If you've got it there, use it. If you're on the side of the road, it's a bit thing. But if you're not, why, why are you struggling? Don't need to. So, I want to get these nipped up. Remember, double your spine right. Just to double check. You're doubling the load. Make sure it's all tight. Because the last thing you want is that prop shaft coming off. So, I'm going to nip these up now. I'm going to get the bar and I'm going to tighten. Just double check the centre bearing one. So, yeah, other than that, we're all done. So yeah, and then all we do is under Might be that tight So here was just literally a socket with a gun, last little bit to wind it off, um, make life a little bit easier. At some point you couldn't get a socket in it and you had to use the 90mm ratchet spanner like I said. But most of the time you get it off, see them whizzing them out there. Makes life a hundred times easier. Do anything you can to make your life easier. It's all you can do. These are the same as well, just I used a 90mm socket. They were quite tight, so use an inch gun and buzzed all them straight off. Yeah, they're not bad to do. Literally take them ringer bolts out. Knock the, you'd have to hit it hard. Knock the uh, front part of the hub off. Just tap the disc and it'll literally come off. So I've cleaned the actual uh, bearing up around the outside. Um, I'm going to put the new disc on, line it up, put the hub on top, bolts through it, bang it all back on. So we'll do the reverse and uh, all time looks at because yeah let's get on yeah just line the disc up and then line the hub up a little bit awkward but it's easily done all i did is basically like a wheel just get it all lined up get one bolt in get it going and then buzz them all up so caliper on now uh same opposite of what we did earlier uh ratchet spanner on and then tighten. and who is thursday today nearly friday um so currently doing the uh, relay here. Yeah. We'll do that. Uh, don't need to do the brakes in a minute, which is a bonus. So I'm gonna get that done and then we're gonna have to adjust the brakes on the trailer and give it a road test so and it's loaded as well. So I'm gonna whip this off, put the new one on, and there let's see what happens. Old one off, new one on, let's get it on. These were just 24 mil um, union points and then a couple of 90s. The nuts were 30 mil M8 nuts on the back. They were a little bit awkward with the tank in the way, but they weren't too bad to do. Just obviously holding your arms up or doing all that makes your arms ache a little bit, but easy job 
um, pretty simple for anyone to really do. Just you don't really need to mount the pipes because there's only five, and they pretty much locate when you take them off. They show where they locate anyway. So I've got this caliper here. Some of you may recognise it. I have never touched a caliper in my life. I've never touched a caliper in my life. I've never touched this caliper in my life. So I need to get it adjusted. Uh, where do you adjust it from? Now uh, it was all very new to me. Finally found it out. A little bum behind here. Push it in and twist it to tie it up. So I adjust these brakes basically the same as I would do a set of drums on a camshaft give them a good feel so you see me spinning it a couple of times just to get a good feel of how much tension is actually on the brakes